Before we go to Google Scholar, let's talk about what Google Scholar is and what types of sources it can help you find. Google Scholar provides an easy way to search the scholarly literature from many disciplines. If you're used to searching google.com, Google Scholar will be very familiar to you. The difference between searching Google and Google Scholar is that Google Scholar focuses your search on only scholarly literature. It searches websites of academic publishers, professional societies, online repositories, universities, and other websites to find journal articles, books, dissertations and theses, papers, meeting abstracts, and citations. Keep in mind that not every source will be peer-reviewed. So in general, it's a nice resource for interdisciplinary topics or when you're struggling to find information in other databases. You can access Google Scholar from the Lister Hill Library homepage by clicking the Google Scholar tab in the middle. You can either do a quick search in the blank provided or click the Google Scholar logo to access the full version of Google Scholar. You can also get to Google Scholar at scholar.google.com. This is the Google Scholar homepage. Before you begin your search, you'll want to make sure you change a couple of Google Scholar settings so you can link out to full text available through Lister Hill. To do this, click on Settings in the top right. On the left, click Library Links. In the search blank, enter Lister Hill and click the search button. You should then see Lister Hill at the bottom of a list of libraries. Google Scholar allows you to select up to five libraries, so depending on how many libraries are listed here, you may need to uncheck some. Check the box next to Lister Hill. If you use EndNote or EndNote Web, you'll also want to select one other setting so you can export citations from Google Scholar. Click Search Results on the left. Go down to Bibliography Manager, Select the second radio button and EndNote from the drop-down. Click Save. Now you're set and ready to search. Let's say we're interested in finding articles on the effectiveness of probiotics in treating irritable bowel syndrome. We can enter our search terms just like we would if we were searching Google. The word AND is assumed between terms by default. We put quotes around phrases. As you can see, Google Scholar retrieved a very large number of results, over 9,000 results for this search. This is often the case in Google Scholar because it is searching the full text of articles as opposed to just the title and abstract or summary of articles like most other databases. Let's take a look at how we can focus our search a little more. The date limit is especially useful because Google Scholar by default ranks results by relevancy, not by date. So even on the first page of results, you may get citations to very old articles mixed in with more recent articles. Probiotics is a newer topic, so we don't see any really old citations here, but it's not unusual when searching Google Scholar to see a citation for a 1960s article just above an article published in 2012. For many health-related searches, you are more interested in current research. So you can sort your results by date, or you can limit to a certain date range. You can also exclude patents. Additional limit options are available under Advanced Scholar Search. This feature is a little tricky to find. You have to hover your cursor over this down triangle and click. On this page, you can, for example, tell Google Scholar to find your search terms only in the titles of articles. Just be careful limiting your search this way because it may limit your search more than you really want and cause you to miss relevant articles. You can also search specific journals by author or by specific date range, all very useful ways of searching depending on what you're after. For this search, let's say you happen to know that A.C. Ford is a well-known researcher that publishes a lot on this topic. We can use the Authored By search field to limit to just his articles. By now you've probably noticed the Find It at UAB Lister Hill links to the right of search results. 
These links appear when the system detects that full text access to the article is available through Lister Hill Library. To access the full text of articles on your results list, look for these links, or links that say PDF, such as this one. Once you click Find It at UAB Lister Hill, click on a Get Article link. This will take you to the full text provider's website, where you can then look for the link to the PDF. Now you know how to do a basic search in Google Scholar. Want to learn more about Google Scholar? Visit this LHL guide for more tips and tricks. And don't forget to ask a Lister Hill librarian if you need help.